Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today is May 25th. I still haven't had time to upload a video with the A2 slash 2 Pacific. I've been so busy. And uh, hopefully I'll get it uploaded eventually. But uh, yeah, I just don't have the time with work and all. So this is a new arrival that just came in today. Uh, this one I've been wanting forever. Except by. <laughs> Couldn't find the right seller in this country where I live. It's gonna be good. I bought her off trains, which I shouldn't recommend. Sorry for the slight cut, but like I said, I wouldn't recommend buying from trains because of the brown paper that they use. But let's see what's in here. Mm, open this protected. Okay. Ooh, it's really heavy. I bought a Hornby Class 50. Locomotive. This one is Arc Royal. Looks pretty good too. Here's the end code for it. Yeah. Let's get this out. Sorry for the background noise. Uh, everyone was watching TV downstairs and it's raining outside, so I'm really lucky I'm off today. But let's get this out. I'm really excited for this. I've always wanted a class 50. I just could never find one. In, the, in this country where I live, I found a few, but people bought them before I did. Oh wow. And there it is in there. The only British diesels I have are D261 from Thomas and a Class 58. So, this is going to be definitely new. Here's a detail bag, which you don't really get much, do you? Sorry if you can't see that. What do you get in here? Uh, looks like grab irons and some vacuum pipes. There you, you can just about see them there. Hopefully you can see the uh, grab irons and the vacuum pipes and hoses and whatnot. So yeah, that's pretty much what you get in here. It's not really much, but it's something. All right, now let's get the engine out. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Mm, there it is. Looks like it's got the feet, the, some of the detail fitted at the front. Don't know how well you can see that. That's pretty cool. And there's the back. Alright, the buffers are sprung, that's what I like to see. Sweet. This is a really good model. Oh, it looks like there's something there. Something missing there. I think it might be one of these. Yeah, I guess it's missing, uh, I guess it's a fuel tank? No, it's a fuel tank, isn't it? Uh, hopefully that won't bother me too much, but, well, I got a Class 50. <laughs> I think it's probably my favorite British diesel of all time. I don't know, I just like the look of it. And I've wanted one for, oh, no way. Doors open. Can you see that? That is so freaking cool, dude. Oh man, that's so cool. Anyways, I wanted a class 50 because I wanted to build up a rake of network southeast stuff for a while. Like get some big BR coaches and some network southeast stuff, if you guys know the, the drift. But yeah, that is a class 50. Now let's test this on the track. Alright, I got a good feeling about this. Because this engine is so freaking heavy. It's unbelievable. And it looks like it's going to have lights too. Does it have traction tires? No, I don't think it has traction tires. I'm trying to glide it along the track. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, now, oops, sorry, let me get this on, and let's move it back and forth. All right, really solid runner too. Oh man, the lights work. That is awesome. Nice. It's 
really smooth, quiet runner. That's looking to go. It's not too bad. The battery's quite low. Alright, let's turn it around. This thing is awesome. I'm actually loving this thing a lot. It's a really good runner. The lights work. You can see I bought some uh, BR coaches there. I got four of them. I had some on bids, but I lost them. But oh well, what can you do about it, huh? A really smooth runner. Right, it's a few hours later since I last saw you, and uh, I think last time I filmed this was like 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that, and it's 10 past 8, so uh, yeah, it's already the evening, the sun's going down, and I uh, just had, thought I'd uh, have a little time to myself while I was uh, playing with this Class 50. Really love to sing a lot. Interesting fact, um, remember those uh, grab irons that I showed you in the detail pack? They're not grab irons. <laughs> they're uh, something to do with, I don't know if they're for taking the body off, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, they might be for something like that. I haven't removed the body yet, but uh, one, uh, <laughs> I might do it eventually. And inter another interesting fact, this model is um, apparently came from 2005, because uh, it's not DCC ready, <laughs> and uh, the box literally says, well, not in the box, but there's a sticker on it that dates back 2005. So, uh, <laughs> did not notice that after, uh, after I stopped filming. But, maybe I might go a little bit further. But first, I might run it around for you guys a little bit, and you can't see it because it's out of focus, but I'm having it pull some, uh, British Rail coaches that I've, uh, recently been buying. I think I just showed you that recently, but, oh well. Three of them are by Lima, one is by Hornby. That's Lima. That's Lima. This one's Hornby or Triang. I would assume Triang because it looks a bit beat up. And this one is Lima. Doesn't say Triang on the bottom though. It just says made in Great Britain. So I would assume it's uh, Hornby or Triang. It could be either one. But uh, yeah. This Class 50 works excellently. It's also got working lights. You've probably seen it. From the beginning, but I love the working lights on this. There's the front, and there's the back. Well, I wouldn't probably wouldn't matter which is the front or back. It's got cab at both ends, but it's got a uh, exhaust at the front, so I would assume it will be the front. So yeah, that is the Class 50. Uh, maybe before I go, I might open it up just to see uh, what mechanism lies inside here. Pretty sure it's still a good one for it being uh, 2005. At least let's hope so. Alright, hopefully you can see the model okay. Yeah, one thing to note is that these little cables here, I would try to be careful in removing those before you remove the body. Uh, I accidentally scraped a little bit of paint off of it, trying to get it off with some tweezers. That's, uh, that's not really a big deal, but I would try to be careful. The instruction set has got some clips, so... It's really going to be hard to uh, <laughs> get this thing off. Well, well maybe not. Alright. Uh, let's see what's in here. So there's not much going on here, and it looks like there's supposed to be a belt that drives this fan, but for whatever reason it ain't working. I guess it's just slipping. 
Yeah, I can see it slipping. <laughs> oh, hello. We got a DCC chip here. Well, it's a DC chip, but you get the idea. It's a DCC socket is what I meant to say. And the box says it's not DCC ready, but here we have... Is it? Hang on. Yep, what do you know? It is DCC ready. It's the blinking chip right here. Now I just... Pushing in there. That's really bizarre how it's DCC ready. <laughs> But yeah, let's, let's, let's turn this thing on real quick. Move the cork road bed to a holding the camera lens. Sorry if you can't see it too well. It's kind of odd how that fan isn't driven. It's got a belt. Yeah, it's got a belt. It's... Oh, I see it. I see the wheel moving. Don't know about you, but it's not driving that fan. Hmm. I don't know what's going on here. But, if I can get the lens closer, you can see the directional lighting. Which I think is super cool. Whatever reason it flickers. I don't know what it is when it flickers, but uh, the most important thing is it still works. All right, just put the body back on, and uh, that concludes the video of me unboxing my new Hornby Class 50. I really do love this thing a lot. I've always wanted a 50, and I finally got one. One thing that's kind of annoying me now is that this end of the locomotive, the windshield or the glazing has come off, it's just the windshield part. And I'm not sure how to get the cab out. I'm pretty sure that what those tools are for, maybe. Can't guarantee it, but the lights on it do still work. You can probably just see them flickering, even if I don't have to float throw it in this direction. But yeah, I didn't damage anything, which is great. But yeah, that concludes it. Uh, <laughs> I really do love this thing a lot, but if anybody can tell me how to get the cab off this end, please do let me know, and hopefully I'll fix the glazing there. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, take care everybody.